What's going on, everyone? Welcome to the second episode of the Wild Card in Madden 21 Subscriber League. Today, it is gonna be the Pittsburgh Steelers versus the Tennessee Titans. These, they're kind of like rivals. They're not really rivals, but, but at one point in the 90s, they were in the same division and they hated each other. But for now, they're not really that much of rivals anymore, but they still hate each other. As they are going to face off in the playoffs right here. As this is pretty... This actually has some history in Madden Subscriber League. Because in Madden 20, in the Madden 20 Season 2 AFC Championship, these two teams faced off in the AFC Championship. And get this. The Titans beat the Steelers. Because the Steelers, they're still amazing. But they're still kind of developing a little bit. And the Titans were just way too good that year. But today, we're in the wild card. Whoever wins against Pittsburgh and Tennessee will face on against Houston in the divisional round. So that is something to behold. So right here. But both these teams, they're 9-7. The Steelers managed to clinch it as a wild card and the Titans managed to clinch it because they won their division. So we are live in Tennessee. Yeah, we're live in Nashville, Tennessee. In, in the Titans Stadium. I don't think we're in Nissan Stadium, but we, but I don't know. But but here he is, Lucas Dawkins, number six, running back Derek Duhay, 37. And we got to mention the greatest quarterback duo, totally not biased at all, Carl Boozer, number 26, and Joshua Farms, number 25. And for the and for them, Tennessee Titans. It's going to be, if we look... Quarterback Nick Alonzo, number one. Um, and the two wide receivers, Noah Melvin, 84, and Jabari Beckham, 85. I feel like Jabari Beckham will be a great number one wide receiver, but Noah Melvin, he's already, he has more experience, so he's going to be up top. And we got one of the best tight ends in the league, Ocean Man. I'm not going to sing the song, but you guys can do it too. But right now, this is Kyle De La Cruz's third Third year in the league for the as a as the Tennessee Titans coach, and now it seems like it seems like this is good for the Tennessee Titans because they finally made the playoffs under Kyle Dela Cruz's, but under Gregory Sheldon, Coach Sheldon, this is Coach Sheldon's fourth year and he finally made the playoffs with the Pittsburgh Steelers. He kind of had to do a tiny bit of rebuilding, such as replacing his quarterback. With Louis Dawkins and having a slow, he, it was slow and steady, but the but the process is over. As now the only the only thing to do now is to win, and it seems like the Steelers are not off to a good start. As the Steelers are at third and twenty-four, Louis Dawkins. If he continues this, then the Steelers might lose, and Louis Dawkins might as well not be ready. But Louis Dawkins. He seems to be doing pretty good right now. Louis Dawkins gonna dump this off to Duhay. Some would say that's not a good idea, and I agree. The what was they thinking when they did that? Why they do that? That's that's not that that was a not a good drive at all, and that's not a good punt at all because because the Titans are on their own forty-five, and that's almost and that's like halfway there at that point. But Nick Alon but the Tennessee Titans, they might be looking nice this year. They're kind of they're kind of above average, but they somehow was good enough to clinch the division at 9 and 7 cuz that's the Titans way to go 9 and 7. But the last time they went 9 and 7, they went to the conference championship, so I wouldn't be surprised if the Titans do that. But it seems like both of these teams are off to a not good start if you ask me. Like look at this. Nick Alonzo, third and 13. Alonzo going to throw it downfield and that's going to get swatted away by Carlos Boozer. Carlos Boozer say, "Get that shit away from here. I don't want that." So now we're at the one yard line. This could be bad. But who knows? Right here. Here we go. Louis Dawkins gonna run this in with Duhay. Duhay managed to get to the three yard line to prevent a safety. Cause that if that was a safety, that could have been bad. There was the he there was Kyle De La Cruz talking to Nick Alonso, talking about what they should do on the next drive. And the next game we're going to be watching today is Washington versus Seattle. As 
Washington versus Seattle. That should be a good one. Roethlisberger versus Turmoil. And as you can see, Houston beat it. Oh, wait. Oh, he drops it. No, that's not good. Damn, that sucks. But, yeah, Houston beat it. Las Vegas, and now whoever wins gets to go to Houston. Right now, it seems like both these teams, they're kind of struggling. But the Titans, they finally know what to do. They're finally picking up the pace. Titans, they got no one on defense, as in the subscriber, but but the Steelers do, and their name is Carlos Boozer, who's kind of have a slow and steady career. He's not the greatest, but you know he's contributing. And then we got Joshua Farms, who who ever since got getting drafted number nine overall, has made an immediate impact on the Steelers. That's going to be an RPO play right there from Nick Alonso, which gets them third and one. As here comes the Titans. As right now, they're going to be running. They're running, and they're going to be taken down. There we go. First and ten. As right now, the Titans, with, 20 se with 25 seconds left in the first, needs to know what to do. As he's going to break off that tackle, but he's not going to break off that one, if you ask me. As Key said, get the hell out of here. Get out of my face, cousin. As right here, 3, 2, 1. That is going to be the end of the, of the first quarter. Nick Alonso has the ball. Alonso going to dump that off, and that's going to get taken down. 56. Down there, there's Seattle versus Washington. That should be a fun one to watch. That that looks so fun. As right here, the Titans, just like that, gonna throw it in almost for a touchdown. To to that was to Ocean Man too. Damn, Ocean Man could have got that. As that was a nice 17 yard reception to Ocean Man. Now it looks like this might be a run play. That is gonna be a run play. However, the Steelers. They have, they're they're notorious for their defense. They have a long history with their amazing defense. So, so the Titans shouldn't be surprised that this didn't work. As the Titans, they're going to be scrambling this time. Nick Alonzo with the touchdown, Titans. Damn, a rushing touchdown by Nick Alonzo. That was unexpected. But there he goes with the rushing touchdown from them Tennessee Titans. How will them Pittsburgh Steelers come back? As Nick, as Lewis Dawkins, gonna try and chuck it. As this is third and one. As what is the Pittsburgh Steelers gonna be doing? They're gonna be running. He managed to, he managed to sneak through for the first down. Let's go. And right now we're gonna watch the rest of his drive. So right here, Lewis Dawkins has the ball. He's going to throw it downfield. And that's not going to be enough for a first. Oh, my. Second and, tw second and second. Second and two. So right here, Lewis Dawkins going to run in with Derek Duhay with a nice stiff arm. But there was somebody already there. As now, it's third and three. Lewis Dawkins... He knows what he's doing. He's going to run it with Derek Duhay. And Derek Duhay going to get that first down. Let's go, Derek Duhay. Seems like the Steelers are going to run heavy. They're trusting Duhay. As now, they're going to go Duhay again. Duhay going to get a yard. As now, that is going to be the two-minute warning. As now, they're in field goal range. They know exactly what to do. Dawkins throws it downfield. He's going to get that away. As now, it's third and second. As now, the Pittsburgh Steelers lose Dawkins with his X-Factor enabled. He's going to pass it this time. He's going to pass it to a wide open man. And that's going to be up for our first down.
First and ten. Lewis Dawkins. He's going to pass it down the field. He has wide open room. That's going to be a touchdown Steelers to Mark Poyer. His first year as a Pittsburgh Steeler. And he is balling out right here in the playoffs. Just like how he did when he was on the Broncos. Kyle Delacruz, as you can see, he is pissed. That Mark, that Mark Poyer just got that touchdown. 7-7 seven to seven right here. How will they react? So it seems like the Steelers, they're driving down the field. Is this going to be a field goal? That is going to be a field goal from the Pittsburgh Steelers to make it 10 to 7. Now, right here, anything can go. And that's not going to go anywhere, as they say. Oh, but Lewis Dawkins, he's chucking it. You have to watch this now. As here he goes. Lewis Dawkins with his X Factor enabled. What is he gonna do? He's telling someone to get in their fucking place. And oh, he managed to snipe it right before it hit zero. And that's dropped! No! So, right here, Lewis Dawkins has the ball. He has it. He has it. No! He's gonna get sacked! No, Preston with the sack. Third and 20. So right here, Lewis Dawkins. Gonna throw it down the field. He has open field. And he is gonna get taken down. He's gonna get spine bustered. Parker just putting his team on his back. Could the Steelers get another potential ch touchdown? He's going to dump that off to Duhay. Duhay has open field. That's almost a first down. Lewis Dawkins knows what he's doing. This is why he was drafted six overall by the Pittsburgh Steelers. Because Pittsburgh, they saw potential in him and they fired their bullet to him. And now, if you look at this, Derek Duhay with the touchdown Steelers. Derek Du. Hey, let's go. Derek Duhay, he is doing this for the entire city of Pittsburgh. As now, it is Titans time. How are they going to respond by being down? Oh, they're going to punt it. Oh, my. This is insane. Oh, they're going to punt it now. Six minutes left in the fourth. You know we have to watch this now. Nick Alonzo, he has to now chuck it. Nick Alonzo. Nick Alonzo going to dump this off to Oscar Ivory. Oscar, ooh, going to get taken down. Damn, cuz. That's going to be second and fourth. As now, here comes Nick Alonzo. 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 He's going to get sacked by Bailey. Oh my! Bailey did not get damn. Alonzo did not get the chance of day. Alonzo, he is not having a good field day. Alonzo, he is forced to chuck it. That's dropped. No! Jabari Beckham, he choked it. They have to go for it. If they don't make this, it's game over. Nick Alonzo. He's forced to chuck it. And that's going to get swatted away to Beckham again. But Joshua Farm said, get that shit out of my face. That might as well be a game. As the Steelers going to pass a touchdown. Now. Oh, and that's going to get picked off by Jabari Easy. This game is long over now. As the Pittsburgh Steelers are going to beat the Tennessee Titans to go to Houston, Texas. As now, the next round is going to be Pittsburgh versus Houston in an exciting game. As now, Nick Alonso, 238 yards, touchdown, two interceptions. Lewis Dawkins, 210 yards, two touchdowns, zero interceptions. 
rushing. Derek Duhay, 39 yards and a touchdown. And Nick Alonzo managed to get a rushing touchdown. Receiving though, Ocean Man though, got 75 yards, zero touchdowns. Jabari Beckham, 36 yards. He had a couple drop passes. It won't let me show the drop pass thing. But he dropped he dropped some crucial passes. That is not how you become the number one receiver, Jabari Beckham. Next up, we are gonna talk about Derek Duhay has some good jobs on the field, but Nick, but Noah Melvin, who's the number one wide receiver, only caught 27 yards. And needless to say, the Titans were not ready. They were not ready. And now on defense for the Pittsburgh Steelers, two interceptions from Javari Easley, amazing. And now Joshua Farms four tackles, and now Carlos Boozer with a tackle. And now that is going to be all for this game as we're going to go on to Washington versus Seattle. And here we are, live at FedEx Stadium. It is going to be the Seattle Seahawks versus the Washington football team. And right here, whoever wins this one will be going straight to New Orleans to go face on against Mike Hunt, Zach Scott, Anthony Davis, and Devin Durant. This is going to be an exciting one as it's going to be Seattle versus Washington. As we got now one of the most exciting quarterbacks in the league, Walter Turmoil. In Madden 20, if you say this man will be in the playoffs again, I would have laughed straight out of your face. But now Walter Turmoil, he's up and coming. He might be the next big thing. As Walter Turmoil, he is number 10 right now. And then he got his running back, Harry Harry, number 34. We got... We got London on the track. <laughs> Pro Gamer CJ95 and Joe Mama69. Nice. And then the only subscriber on the football team, Maxwell Roethlisberger at number 7. He made the Pro Bowl last year. He made an immediate impact to the football team. Actually won his first ever playoff game as a rookie last year. And now he might be doing incredible things. I did not meant to watch that, but you know what? Sure. Boom. They punted away. As now, that is going to be returned. And it looks like they is not going to be returned very far. So, yeah. And now, here he comes. Walter Turmoil marching down the field. And this season, he's thrown for 4,032 yards, 27 touchdowns, 10 interceptions. My man, my man's the next big thing. If he keeps up these performances, he might go to the Super Bowl. So here he is discussing with the squad what to do. They're against the football team. The football team's only playoff win last year was against the Bucks, But they didn't even have their starting quarterback. So they face off against a rookie who was making his first ever start. As Woods is dead. But, but hey. The football team did get a win. They moved on to the divisionals last year. But this time, can the Washington football team prove they're the real duel? Even though they went 10-6, and six, that's pretty good. But can they prove it? We have to find out. Walter Turmoil, though, with a nice quick slam pass. And just like that, that's going to be touchdown Seahawks. If you look at that, the Seattle Seahawks starting off with a bang off the bat with a 66-yard touchdown to Moss. God damn, Seattle standing off with a bang. And there's Joe Mama hyping up the crowd. And just like that, an amazing quick slam right there to Moss, Morgan Moss, to go down the field for that touchdown Seahawks. I feel like this is about to be an amazing game. They're about to kick in this PAT, and that PAT is about to be good. Boom, going to kick it down the field, 7-0. As that was a nice 65-yard touchdown to Morgan Moss. As now, it's Maxwell Roethlisberger time. Let's see what he has to offer. Right now, they're about to run this off the field. And he breaks off Joe Mama's tackle. How did he do that? Joe Mama's 400 pounds, but that's still registered as a tackle from Joe Mama. Now he's about to run him again, and this time he's going to get a yard. As here comes them Seattle Seahawks, 
Can they get down on Roethlisberger? Roethlisberger, he could not make the catch. Damn. And now things are about to happen. Oh, damn. That was a horrible punt from Rod Burnock to make the football team return it to the Seattle Seahawks 37. This is dangerous. This is dangerous. Roethlisberger going to run it down the field. That's going to be taken down by Joe Mama. Here is second and five. As right here, Maxwell Roethlisberger, he's going to throw it. He's going to throw it check down. As here it is, third and five. As right here, Maxwell Roethlisberger chucks it down the field, and that's going to be swatted away. Had he caught that, that could have been crucial. But for now, the Washington football team are forced to kick the field goal. And that field goal is going to be good. Three to seven. As Bush with an amazing kick. So right here, what will the Seahawks do? They are not going to, oh wait, they, they are going to do enough. And damn, Walter Turmoil. He is trying to prove this. He is trying to prove the city of Seattle that he can do it all. But we have to see it live on camera. He's going to run it off of Harry Harry. Harry Harry, not going to be going anywhere. And right here, he is going to pass it yet again. Just like that. Here is Walter Turmoil. Third and fourth. As now, here we go. Walter Turmoil, what will he do right here to get the third and fourth? Not a good pass. What is that pass? It doesn't matter. He's getting that first down. Damn. Harry, Harry. Making an impact on the field. Right here, Walter Turmoil. Going to dump this off. And that is going to be worth four yards. Right here, Walter Turmoil. He is going to be running that down the field. He's going to break off that tackle as Harry, Harry making an impact. As now it's third and second. As Seattle, they have the ball. He's going to dump that off, and that is going to be taken down. Here it is, first and goal. Now, here it is. Watch Termo. Gonna be running this in with Harry Harry. That's gonna be touchdown Seahawks. Harry Harry with an amazing rushing touchdown to get the Seahawks up 14 to 3. There it is, 14 to 3. As now, the football team, they cannot make an impact on the field. But you know who is? The Seattle Seahawks. They're immediately making an impact on the field. Right here, they're going to run this in with Harry Harry. Harry Harry going to get that couple yards. Second and seven. Right here, they're going to run this in. And just like that, Nixon is done. As it's third and three. As right here, Walter Turmoil, he has to pass. He passes it down the field, and that's going to get dropped. They are forced to kick in this field goal. And just like that, that field goal is going to be up, and that's going to be good. 17 to three. As now, 
Here we go, the football team. They need to do something. They're not doing that something. As, oh, and that's going to get picked off. Brian Maradith. Oh, my God. And just like that. Damn. The football team need to be doing something. They are not doing that something. What is they doing, guys? The football team. Do something, Roethlisberger. You're right there. You know what? That's going to be a touchdown. 24. Oh, my God. Just throw it, Roethlisberger. Now it's going to be another field goal. Can Roethlisberger actually come back on the field? We just need to eat. watch one drive from him. As here he comes, Roethlisberger telling a man to get in formation. As here he comes, Roethlisberger gonna dump this off. Damn, Roth Seattle Seahawks, they're ranked number 27 in total defense, but today they only allowed 113 yards. That's pathetic. The football team clearly weren't ready for the Seahawks. So Roethlisberger gonna throw it downfield that's finally caught the people are finally catching them balls finally first and ten as Roethlisberger he needs to chuck it Burger Roethlisberger what is he doing he finally chucks it and he finally finds a wide open man just like that so right here Roethlisberger gonna throw it down the field yet again. He's gonna get taken down. Roethlisberger, here he comes. He's gonna throw it. Are you serious? He drops it out of thin air. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta fire that man right now. Roethlisberger pump fake. Gonna throw it down the field. That's deep. Touchdown football team. Football team. He is gonna nay nay. And they are now down by they're now down by 17. They failed the two-point conversion. But however. And just like that. They are not gonna do anything as the Seattle Seahawks. Are not gonna do it. Are are gonna hold them back? As this was an embarrassment for the football team. The Walter Turnbull, 254 yards and a touchdown. Roethlisberger was possibly the worst game of his career. I'm not even gonna read this out. You can read it yourself. Russian Harry Harry, 116 yards and a touchdown. Good for him. All right, receiving though. Actually, wait, no one was on receiving. Harry Harry did get 36 yards though. Good for him. Defense, Joe Mama with five tackles and a sack. Pro Gamer CJ. And Pro Gamer CJ, did he contribute? Did he contribute? He got two tackles. At least that's something. But this was an embarrassment. Just get this game out of my face, bro. Like.